Ooh, she is falling out of the box. Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome back to another video. And finally, today we're gonna be taking out and reviewing the Barbie Nutcracker Clara as the Sugar Plum Princess doll from 2001 from the movie Barbie in the Nutcracker. So I am so excited guys, like this is so surreal. And I think uh, all of my Barbie movie doll unboxings will be very surreal because these are dolls that I have wanted my entire life for 20 plus years. And now I finally have them. It's crazy. Well, it's not that crazy. I got them on eBay, but still, <laughs> it's it's very special to me and it's so exciting. And before we start, I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. All right. So um, as you can see, I got the Clara with the storybook set. So I didn't know this set existed, I only know about the Solo doll, but when I was uh, looking for the Clara doll, I came across this set as well, which was actually, uh, I mean, my particular seller was selling it around the same price as the individual doll, so I was like, if I'm gonna spend that amount, why not just go for this set, you know? And the set is still in pretty good condition, and it's actually quite heavy. Maybe it's the book that's making it heavy, but... It is quite heavy. I paid a ton of. Oh, sorry, can't say that. I paid. <laughs> I paid a ton of shipping just for this one. But anyways, here it is. So it says Barbie at the top. We have Clara here, beautifully displayed. Like because of the, because of how the box is in such great shape, it gave, even gave me second thoughts on whether I want to debox her or not. But I was like, no, you got to do it. You waited 20 years for this doll, and you're not about to keep her in the box. So don't worry. I'm taking her out. <laughs> What did you say? Um, I was just gonna debunk. What? No, 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 no. Um, it says Barbie in the Nutcracker. And this is the little paper cutout Nutcracker that she's supposed to be holding in her hand, but I think the rubber band's kind of snapped. But I'm glad he's still in there somewhere. And it says, inside, a classic, beautifully illustrated hardcover book you and your child will cherish. <laughs> Guess what? I am my own child. And... Um, it says the Sugar Plum Princess right there on the top. And it says, make Barbie twirl on her magical dance stand. And I really love the die cut uh, little uh, pop-ups here as well and the sugar cane. And on the top, there are like a little bit of story written there as well. Yeah, and I love that they're like using emojis already since 2001. And on the side, we have uh, like artworks of all the other characters. We have Marzipan, Peppermint Girl, Flower Fairy, and Major Mint. And on the back, this is the photo that I grew up looking at and dreaming about having these dolls one day. And it also shows you what are the available products in this collection. So we have the video that's coming soon in fall 20, uh, 2001. And I love the mock-up placeholder DVD cover that they did with just the dolls. You have also have the My Size Sugar Plum Princess Barbie, Nutcracker Fashion go uh, Gift Set, and also a um, ornament from Hallmark. So I think this write-up is a little different on this one because it talks about the storybook. Whereas I think the individual one probably says something different. I don't know. And you can also change your skirt into a pink one, into a full pastel tutu. On this side, we have the artwork of Nutcracker, Gingerbread Boy, Colonel Candy, and the Snow Fairy. And I love the watercolor style artwork. It's so beautiful. Like this package is 20 years old and it still feels better than the current day packages. Kind of breaks my heart to open them, but no, I have made my decision and I'm going to take her out. So let's just do it like a Band-Aid. Let's, let's, let's just, let's just do it. Oh yes, I'm doing it. Ah. Okay, it is open. It is open, y'all. Let me sniff it. It smells just like I thought it was gonna smell. That just, that smell of old Barbie doll boxes is different. You don't get the smell in the newer dolls anymore. And it's not because it's old. I think it's made one of the hair products that they use. All of the 90 dolls that I had as a child always had that smell. I love it. I love it when they include these instructional papers and I even love this art style, like very simplistic style, but I love it. And it's also probably nostalgia that's talking. You know, it's beautiful. Okay, we'll get into detail later. 
we're gonna try to take her out. We have the little nutcracker figure here as well. We're gonna keep him aside and where do I even start? Because I want to preserve the box as much as possible. I don't want to ruin the box. Artwork is gorgeous. Ooh, she is falling out of the box. Okay. Oh, I love the box background and the castle in the back. She is out <gasps> and her rubber band has snapped. Oh God, I'm gonna have to resell her. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so it looks like she comes with a hair net that, that has already snapped and ripped on its own. Okay, so there's the hair net. I'm gonna keep all the ties and I advise you that you do it as well in case you ever need to put them back in the box. So let's try to set up her stand. It comes with the mini instructional papers. Now we're taking out her waist clasp. I'm not sure what the ribbon is for. Okay, so it has two steps, if you can see. One here and one here. According to the instructional papers, this one is supposed to use it when she's alone and her toes are pointed. And this one is to use when the doll is posed in with flat feet or posing with another doll. Okay, let's try to put her in the base. I don't want to break it right away. Oh, okay. This is how it works. There are wheels underneath. So when you roll it along, it turns the base, hence making her twirl. I'm guessing you're supposed to put it under her clothes. Ooh, there we go. La, 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 la. Imagine how much I would have loved this as a kid. All right, so um, before I get more into the doll, let's just take a quick look at her instructions paper. So it says instructions, everything that comes with hers, this little ribbon, don't know what this is about. Oh, oh, actually you're supposed to go over her clothes, but I tried, it didn't work. The toes are supposed to be in these little slots. Ah, okay, much better. Oops. Clip on tiara onto doll's hair. Wrap, oh, the ribbon is supposed to be for the hair. I am very confused, I don't know how to do this. And these are her little hair clip thingies. For these, I'm, I think they're like stickers. I don't think I'm gonna take them out. So I'm just gonna keep them in this one for now, but you can see how they look like anyway. They're not even in plastic, they're actual little gems. Very cool. And then she also comes with her brush, the iconic 90s brush with the swirls. I love these brushes so much. And finally, we have the storybook. And then we can have like a flip through of the storybook to end the video. Okay, so before we get into the Clara herself, I want to quickly show you the details of her stand. So it's very detailed. You have all these hearts sculpted all around. And you have all these little beads and all these ballet slippers and these ribbon details and the roses. It's very detailed. All right, now let's get into Clara herself. So before we start, let's take a th quick 360 look. So I have an emergency <laughs> plan right there. And there we go. Now we can get into the close-up details. All right, detail time. So uh, I have the green eyes version. So the green eye version is the common one. The, the rare variant is the blue eyes, which is also an Indonesian variant, I think. Mine is the China version. So she is featured in her iconic Generation Girls or the CEO face sculpt. The way it painted her is very nice. She has pink shimmery lips. There are some shimmery pigments in the lips, if you can see. 
So that's actually quite pretty. And I love the way they painted her eyes, green, and I love the lashes. I really just love the pastel, very soft makeup on her. It just fits her perfectly. And then for her tiara, it's like I said, it's a hair clip, but it's currently tied down to her hair. So I think I'm gonna leave it that way. I don't really have a use for the hair clip on other places except on her head. So I'm just gonna leave it that way. It's uh, gold chrome, it's very shiny, and you have these little pink dots to represent the jewels in her hair. And her hair is styled in like a half up, half down look. These two sides are pulled back and tied on the back, well, with a clip right now, and then the rest is just loose curl. They're supposed to be ringlets, but they're loose now. But it's very soft and there are no gel. So I think back then they actually rooted the hair with actual curly hair. That's why they were able to stay this curly for all these 20 plus years without any gel because it's super soft. No gel. I cannot feel any gel in it. That's pretty cool. And it's kind of thin too though. Hmm. And for her accessories, she has her heart necklace. Um, this is a little di bit different from the movie. In the movie, it's just like a simple chain with a heart pendant, but this one actually has like jewels on the strand as well. It kind of looks more of like the artwork right there. I think this is what they based it on. And moving down to her outfits, her outfit is very detailed. So first up, she have these armbands that are not a part of the dress, but they're just tied down together by a little strand to keep it in shape, but they're completely separate parts. They're just like sparkly tulle with a gold little thread in the middle. I really love it. There's the other side. And then for her dress, you have the hot pink straps here that goes around to the back. And then she also has this tulle trim and there's like another little trim underneath. See, she wants to lean back right there. Even this little trim is also like a see-through kind of thing with this um, glittery silver line going across. It's very detailed. And then for her top, this detail I really love. It's like almost like a rope kind of detail there that comes like a form that sweetheart bodice that goes down. And then her top have all these patterns. There's a little dots of pink, some flowers, snowflakes, and they're all glitter. And their glitter is shedding a little bit. And then the rest of her top is just this pale pink satin kind of material. And the cool thing is that, let me take her off of a stand. Go see, see, like her, her, she's very loose. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> there are details on this little peplum here as well that goes all the way around, even to the back. That is super cool. The back obviously attaches with Velcro and the top and the skirt are two separate pieces. Her body is made in 1993, the year I was born. God, I am old. So her dress has two layers. This one is the pale pink kind of pastel. Um, it's very sparkly. It's just held together by a ribbon. So let's, let's just take it off and show you what's underneath anyway. This is what this review is all about, to show you everything that she is made of. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, <laughs> that's actually where I see through. Hello. <laughs> so, so this part is two layers of tool here. Oh, actually three. And there are little bits of sparkle here. Maybe they're like just leftover sparkles from this layer. And this is actually attached to her tights and her underpants as well. They're all together one piece. She has like these sparkly tights, which are very soft and very shimmery. I love that. Going down, she have these ribbons. So these ribbons are supposed to be the ribbons from her point shoes. But her shoes are sculpted, so they put actual ribbons there just to mimic and make the illusion that the ribbons are coming off of the shoe. And then she has her sculpted flats with the little ribbon detail here. So that's the only thing I didn't like. I wish she would have gotten actual shoes. But I kind of see it because her shoes are supposed to be able to go in these little tiny slots. So maybe they had to do sculpted shoes so that they could fit in these slots. All right, so let's talk about her articulation a little bit. I'm sorry, my chair makes so much noise. So obviously she moves at the neck. She moves at the shoulders. She can move at the elbows. She already have these beautiful sculpted uh, dancy hands that I love so much. I love the fluidness, the motion in them. And then she also has like a waist joint that she can swivel around. Do, 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 do. 
And then she can also move at her hips, knees, and ankles. <laughs> she's very flexible, that's what she is. Well, <laughs> she's a dancer, she's supposed to be flexible. And this is what her waist joint looks like, if any one of you are interested. So it's like a ball jointed kind of thing. And this is her overskirt. It can even act as her veil. Or a cape. Ooh, a cape would be cool. I have a photo idea now. <laughs> okay, so as I somehow managed to make the hair thingy work. So this is how it is. So basically, you just um, put the uh, rubber band underneath and have two sides. And then you just, there's a little hook in her clip where you come and clip. So it looks like her hair is being pulled up. Okay, so we have all of that out of the way. So before we wrap up with the video, let's do a little flip through of the storybook. So here is the storybook. It's quite big. It's hardcover. It has a matte cover. It's a beautiful watercolor styled art book. Ooh, this book belongs to. Would you look at that artwork? To think that these are probably done by hand instead of digitally. It's very beautiful. The artwork is just stunning. So I'm really glad I got the book. And I think Rapunzel also had a book like this. I'm not sure if Swan Lake did. So I kind of want to go after Rapunzel's book now as well because of how beautiful the artwork is. I will cherish this book and the doll so very much. Well, that's it, everybody. That's it for my video on the Barbie Nutcracker Sugar Plum Princess doll from 2002 to celebrate the Nutcracker's 20th anniversary. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I showed everything as much as I can in every detail. I didn't cut anything out uh, because I want you guys to enjoy her as I am enjoying her. You know, like it'll be a different story if you already have the doll, but for those of you guys who haven't got her yet and wanted to see everything about her, I really hope I made you guys happy and that you enjoyed the video and are satisfied with it. And make sure to stay tuned because I also have Prince Eric and I also have the fashion pack, so I will be doing separate videos on them as well. But right now, thank you so much for watching. You can also check me out on Instagram at Jamie Creates for my toy photography. I like to create photos with using my dolls to recreate moments and scenes from the movie. So uh, go check out there. If you enjoyed this video, you can thumbs up, like, and subscribe to stay tuned for more Barbie movie dolls or other Disney dolls in your video feeds. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!